Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another top five. And we are going to look at the top five Linux packages for YouTube video production or any video production really. Uh, but as I'm developing on this YouTube channel, everything I do is Linux based for this channel. And uh, I want to talk about the applications that I use to do my developing uh, for the YouTube channel, specifically on a GNU Linux type system. So obviously Linux isn't just some, you know, terminal based thing. I'm actually running a dual monitor system here, uh, two HD monitors and recording everything. And uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, the software packages that I am using and why I am choosing those software packages. Number five, Audacity. Sometimes I need to do an overdub. I goof up something. Uh, other channels overdub everything that they do, develop their scripts, read their scripts, get their scripts perfect, and then build the video around it. Whatever method you use, whether you just talk off the cuff like I do or you plan like I do in some places, um, you will need a way to record your audio. And so the best application for this, in my opinion, is to look into Audacity. Um, Audacity, of course, is cross-platform. The great thing about most of these applications, in fact, I think all of these applications except one of them, they are all cross-platform. So if you are thinking about moving to Linux and you do some video production or you're thinking about doing YouTube or anything else and you don't want to buy all the expensive software, almost all of these applications can work on any operating system. Uh, so Audacity is a cross-platform audio editor. This is every bit as powerful as a lot of your other uh, applications. It can record multi-track, multi-channel, hundreds of features and functionality. Uh, you could become an entire expert on this. And uh, I use it, uh, I'll use it for cataloging things off of video recorders, uh, overdubbing, uh, doing editing of videos, even the introduction uh, that I have on this video where you hear the sound clips into those. I actually had to import those into Audacity, edit them to get the exact frame sizes that I need, and then I imported them into Blender to create the 3D file with the sound exactly right. And uh, Audacity is what I used to to do all of those. If I Also, if I have an instance where frequently I uh, collect uh, things like sermons and things. So I have a pile of sermons up here. And uh, as I'm cataloging these into MP3 format to put on my media server, I actually plug everything into Audacity and I have Audacity record off of the desktop. So Audacity is a great application for overdubbing, correcting, uh, uh, correcting audio errors and things like that. And uh, it is certainly a package that you should look into for any form of video production. Number four, Simple Screen Recorder. Thank you, Kitty. So number four is Simple Screen Recorder. I think that this is the only one of my packages here that is not cross-platform. And uh, it is uh, works specifically on Linux. Now, your newer Linux, uh, newer Linux builds will have this directly in the repositories as Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, several of your older Linux distros, you will have to install a PPA or install it some other way. This is kind of a, a package that is gaining a lot more uh, popularity lately, and that is how it uh, started to get in uh, put into the repositories. So, uh, Simple Screen Recorder, it's uh, all, uh, and I apologize, I can't pronounce his name, it's M Martin Burt or Bayard or something. Um, he developed this, uh, this guy here, and it's just the best way if you simply need to turn on a recorder and screen capture. This is one of the best ways to do that. So I use Simple Screen Recorder, for example, if I'm doing uh, a very intensive software type thing, and I also use this when I'm recording uh, training videos for my clients. I use Simple Screen Recorder because it's a lot easier uh, than some of the other systems. You can choose your audio input, choose your video input. Very easy to work with, very intuitive. Uh, you can save various different settings. You can record two screens, one screen, uh, frame rates, just everything in there. So Simple Screen Recorder is an absolutely fabulous application if you only need to collect uh, simple screen recording without, uh, without having to need to do other more complicated things. 
Number three is GIMP. Whether you need to make your thumbnails or edit banners or do any other variety of graphic design things, you want to look at GIMP, which is an acronym for GNU Image Manipulation Program. So GIMP is basically your free and open source Photoshop, and it can do just about everything that you would want to do on Photoshop. And uh, I don't really see a time in the future where I would actually pay money for Photoshop any longer. Um, I have in the past and I use Photoshop in some of my businessy type things, but when that site license dies, goes away, I can no longer run Photoshop. I'm dumping it all together because GIMP does absolutely everything that I need to do on Photoshop. Um, so what do I use for GIMP on this channel is all the banners, like the banner you see at the bottom of the screen down here. These are all done in GIMP and then imported into my number one program. We'll talk about that later. Um, I also use GIMP to do uh, any of the thumbnails that I'm doing, any of the other, uh, other images, and even actually on some of my other builds where I'll have uh, uh, the faded uh, gradient border around my camera. Those are all done in GIMP. Also, of course, my designs, t-shirt designs and, and things are also done in GIMP. And so this is an excellent application to learn how to use for any of your video production and, uh, you know, graphic design type stuff as a whole. What is video editing without a video editor? And this brings us to number two, and that is Caden Live. So Caden Live is every bit as powerful as your other video editors out there. And uh, it can pretty much do anything you need another much more paid application to use. The difference is the learning curve is different and that occurs with about any other type of software. But if you're starting in in the industry, it makes a lot of sense to go with a free and open source software application that can get the task done rather than spend a whole lot of money on another one that is probably just as complicated. Um, some people would argue that some of them may work better than others and it may or may not be actually be true, but I look down to the very bottom line of what is it that I need to accomplish and how can I best accomplish that? And uh, Caden Live does everything I need. Now, I can tell you that when I first started this YouTube channel, I actually used OpenShot, which is more like Windows Live Movie Maker. A lot more, uh, they, they had a lot more templates. You could easily do some, some more cool things easier with that, but it lacked the versatility of what you can do in Caden Live. Right around that time, Caden Live started to really grow into being a really, really powerful application. Um, and it was buggy, particularly on the Linux Mint uh, that I like to use. It was buggy on that for a while. I initially resolved that by, um, uh, by using uh, PPAs to install the absolute latest version of it. Now, of course, you can download it as a flat pack and uh, install it that way. So there is a lot that you can do in Caden Live. You can come over here to their main page, um, and I believe this is cross-platform. So, uh, yep, there's a Windows, there's a Mac version as well. So it looks like you might have to compile it on the Mac, and it looks like... I don't know. I've never tried to install it on Windows. Um, but anyway, if you are using pretty much any other uh, any other application, it will tell you how to use it. Recommended use the app image version until the release of 18.04. Of course, that's the app image. Um, I still have the PPAs. I'm running my latest version off of the PPAs. Uh, here is Solus. You can install it uh, here in Solace, OpenSUSE. So no matter what you are running, they have very nice and easy instructions on how to actually install Caden Live. And it is very powerful, like all of these programs, well, except maybe Simple Screen Recorder. Um, these are complicated, very powerful programs. So don't be alarmed if you start it up and you feel over your head. That's okay. Just take the time to learn how to use them. So thanks for watching this top five. If you'd like to help support Switch to Linux, you can check out switchtolinux.com forward slash support for the ways that uh, you can help support us. We also have some, some merchandise available, including this t-shirt um, at shop.switchtolinux.com and that will lead you over to Spreadshirt. And so that is a great way where you can buy things. And I will be uh, updating some of the logo brand designs and things like that uh, down the road. So thanks for watching. And now we are on to our number one pick, which is 
OBS, Open Broadcast Studio. Um, even more than uh, Caden Live, I use OBS because about half of my videos are live uh, across my channels. And so because of that, I don't necessarily record everything in advance and do full scale editing. Oftentimes I do all of my show production, particularly live, utilizing the features and functionality within OBS, which includes having my cameras right now, my transitions like that one, the banners already in here, the animated backgrounds, uh, and on some of my videos where I'll run a green screen, all of that is completely managed, recorded, and done in live uh, recording through OBS. So if you get really good at OBS, you can greatly reduce your video editing needs. Uh, so the better you can learn OBS, the better quality you're going to feed into your actual video recording file, and then the lot less um, editing you will have to do inside of Caden Live. So OBS is my number one pick. Once again, you can get this on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And uh, it is a very nice application. It is a little bit more complicated, just a warning for that. Um, but regardless, it is an application package that uh, once you learn how to use it and you can learn the power of how to use it, it is one of the best applications that uh, you could possibly use. So thanks for watching this top five. Once again, you can uh, check out switch to linux.com forward slash support if you'd like to learn how to help support the channel. So thank you for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.